Hey, peoples, Tick and Mark here. I'm here at the world headquarters of U Specialties and working on the convention some more, dialing them in. It's going to be so fun this fall. And Working what? on YS yes. Palooza, yeah. new cities, a whole new uh, crew for that, and a uh, new season of Planet Wisdom as well. Yeah, really fun. Palooza was so fun to do this new event and to hear so many of you excited about how it helped your ministry. But we're here to talk about a little different story uh, today, kind of a family story. And let me roll back um, the clock just a little bit. Um, when I came back to, to YS about a year and a half ago, when I came back, I told our, our guys, our friends John and Paul and all the YouthWorks folks that when I was coming back, that I was not the future of YS, but I was a bridge to the future. That I did not plan to be at YS a really long time because I just felt uncomfortable about with so many youth ministry organizations we see that don't do transitions well. And have people, I didn't want to be doing YS in my mid-60s. Yes, I remember what teenagers were like. I just like, I didn't want to be that guy. And so that was always on my mind that um, I was not going to stay a long time, that I was a bridge to the new future of YS, but not the future. And so sometime during the last year, as, as we started spending time together developing the Paloozas and working with each other, it really became apparent that really Mark would be the awesome person to to take my place. And so la after the conventions last fall or whatever, we went into a planning thing for a secession because some of the transitions we've had in the past, to tell you the truth, felt a lot more corporate than they did kingdom. And we just wanted a to bit. just a you're fired. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, we, we wanted to do something that really reflected um, our commitment to youth ministry and it would be honorable to God. And so we started working out a, a, a plan that that really we played out over three years that we would transition where um, over that time my um, influence at YS would diminish and at the end of that time Mark would take over the vision and leadership for YS and we were both excited about that. It was in, in play, we felt good about it, so we could just keep going serving youth workers and not worrying about that. That was in play. And we had three years to yeah. kind of roll that out. Yeah, yeah. Well, some of you know um, in December, my wife got into a major car accident, big surgeries, and it really stopped me, bang, to, to sit and had a lot of time thinking and thinking about our life and everything. And not about two or three weeks after her accident, actually, um, a conversation started at my church um, about what, what would it mean for me to, to give more time there and to actually become the executive pastor of the, of the church we're attending. And at first it was like, my, my calling is to youth ministry. You know? And I was wrestling with God about this whole thing, and it was, God kind of reminded me, um, well, actually, your calling is to serve me. Mm -hmm. Youth ministry is where that's been playing out, and there might be a new season, a new story that I want you to, to live into. And so anyway, over this... A um, couple months, Mark knew I was talking with them, the guys at YouthWorks knew, because if it was really a God thing, there's no reason to be sneaky or duplicitous. If, if God was in the mix of this, we were just trying to sense, was that it, sniff it out to see if it was a, a God thing. And then we looked at my gifts, what the church needed, how we already had this thing in, plan for, in play for us. And maybe you've heard that, uh, that statement, you know, man plans and God laughs. I think God had a different timetable. We had this three-year plan, but God had, well, how about? Three weeks, three months. <laughs> yeah, three months. <laughs> Let's move this thing up just a tad. And so what's going to happen now is actually I'm going to start um, diminishing my role at, at YS and increasing my role at the church. And at the end time, at the end of this whole kind of season, Mark is going to take over leadership. And what we have right here is... The very, very highly valued um, authority symbol of youth specialties, it's the Burger King crown that Mike Iaconelli and Wayne Rice gave to me back in the 80s. And so when we get done, this is going to go from me to Mark. And oh, you look good. Did I look Sporting as silly? That thing. Did, did I look yeah, as bad you, as you? You did? actually rock it a little better okay. than I do. Yeah, yeah. But not, but not, not so fast. Not quite yet. Not because quite yet. what we're going to do before then is we're going to share leadership. That's right. Uh, really, our desire, when you think of how does, how does God want us to behave and um, 
conduct ourselves in ministry. And we think that we have an opportunity to share leadership for a while. Over that time, I'm decreasing, you're increasing. The whole time, we're loving on youth workers and serving the church. And that's what's going to happen. We're both going to be at the conventions in the fall. We're still going to be having a big time. But at the end of this season, Mark is going to be... Um, the, the executive director of youth specialties, and I'm going to spend most of my energies um, at my church. I'm totally excited. It blindsided me. I didn't see it coming, but God's a wild God. And so we're still excited about um, serving you guys and visit, seeing you in the fall at the conventions, but that's kind of our family news. Anything you um, want to? Yeah, I just, you know, obviously this opportunity is, you know, sudden. And yeah. uh, I was looking forward to having a few more years uh, with Tick and to work with him. But um, I'm really excited about what God's doing and just the opportunity for youth uh, specialties to continue serving um, the church and, and, and church ministry as teenagers. Yeah. So it's going to be a good time. And, uh, Tick, you're still running the convention this yeah. year, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah, just let everybody know. Nothing yeah. to worry about there. We'll, we'll all be there. And really, it's a fun story for us to tell. There's no spin. There's no weirdness. It's God kind of moved in ways that, that are exciting for us. And so we're walking into to that next story in each of our lives and that still involves um, serving you guys and having the convention rock this fall and so we'll see you in the fall yeah look forward to it